So, just wanted your thoughts on today's defeat. Yeah, well, you know, we, we're all disappointed. Um, there's nothing in the game. Um, I think we had the better chances over the 90 minutes, and um, you know they scored at a critical time. And um, yeah, we're all disappointed. So with two losses in a row, obviously with Mikulova, um a couple of weeks ago, is that a bit of a blow considering the obviously the, the tough running that we've got, and also there's only what is it eight games now left remaining. So with that blow, how do you? regroup and, and go again in such a tight turnaround yeah I mean it's, it's listen it's disappointing to lose any football match and yeah you're right losing two on the bounce is not is not the way to go but um, look these boys and this group we believe in this group and um, you know it's a quick turnaround we go to Needham Tuesday night and um, you know I've every confidence that the boys will bounce back and it's just a case of now preparing for Needham and um, going there and get a positive result so in terms of player selection and availability today uh, we had four on the bench and quite a few, I suppose, regular names missing. Um, are you able to give us any insight on, on them? Yeah, so um, Ryan Willicott will come back into the squad on Tuesday. He was unavailable today. Um, Callum Flanagan's out getting games. Um, he's played his second game after his injury. Um, and again, with that one, we just need to be careful and make sure that we don't rush him back for him to break down again. Um, but Tuesday night will be stronger. Like I say, we'll have a couple of bodies back. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to going to need and to try and get a positive results. And then touch on, we brought in, well, in the last couple of days, brought in a new striker, uh, Zidane Sutherland. He yeah. Got a few minutes today. Um, what are your thoughts on him and what can we expect from him in the future? Yeah, we're really pleased to um, be able to add him to the group and, um, you know, we're confident based that he will have an impact. Um, and yeah, we're looking forward to seeing him. He's, he's eager to play. Um, so yeah, a very good addition. And then last question. With such a, a tight turnaround and a long trip on a Tuesday night to the top of the league, how do you regroup and, and get to go again, I guess, in such a, what will be a probably very difficult game again? Yeah, I mean, it's just a case of the boys recovering, um, you know, um, over the next 24 hours. Um, and we'll, we'll start preparing tomorrow morning um, and planning for Needham. But um, like I said, we, it, it's nothing unusual to us and I'm more than confident that this group will bounce back. So, just wanted your thoughts on today's 1-0 loss? Um, well, it's obviously disappointing to, to come all the way down here and to obviously lose a game such in that fashion. Obviously, he was just out of the blue. I think, looking back at it, that the one he had one shot on target the whole game. I thought defensively, he was quite solid up until the goal. And then, you know, after the goal goes in, it's quite quite a chasing battle, an uphill battle to go and get the equaliser and probably potentially to go and get make the win. But, We've had chances with Alex and obviously myself to put the game to bed, but it's like it's one of them one of them days today where we just gotta bite the bullet and um, move on onto the next game, which is thankfully it's on Tuesday, which we've got a quick turnaround. So two back to back defeats, um, both of them very close games. Uh, I suppose overall what do you think was missing or what did we lack as a team? Um, obviously looking back at the last two games, obviously today and the Mikulova game, I thought we was quite comfor comfortable in the game, to be honest, as a team and as a as a, from an individual point of view. Um, like I said, it's just to two silly goals that we conceded at Mikulova which could have we've we could have withheld and obviously today we've had our chances which we could have won the game but looking forward as a team I think we've just got to all come together think positive and obviously we're going to analyse the game probably to probably Thursday especially the Needham game as well who we play on Tuesday so I think we'll analyse both games and obviously speak collectively as a group where we can obviously going forward where we can improve and where we can all put our points together even the management staff and some of the lads as well, some of the experienced lads can find a way to hopefully break somewhat of a curse and try and get three points and going into the crucial end of the season now with eight games to go. So you mentioned <coughs> experienced lads, you're one of them. Um, you've had plenty of appearances in EFL, uh, you've won two leagues, you've been in the playoffs yourself. You've quite clearly impressed since coming in as well. Um, what do you think 
that you've added so far and that you can add to the rest of the season? Um, I think personally, that I think I've added my experience, which I think obviously Clarkie and, and the management staff wanted me to come in and bring to that group. Obviously, the club was top of the league at the point and with myself as a pers personal achievements, having two promotions and going through a playoff run, which we are currently going through now, it's where I need to bring, like I said, my experience and that somewhat calmness to the group. And obviously, like we've got other experienced players who've played in the league as well and played higher. Some players have, have had promotions as well. So I think we all need to come together as a group and personally stick together. Like, like KJ said at full time, we all just need to stick together and luckily we've got a game Tuesday where we can bounce back and obviously get a little run together going into that final playoff push as well. So you mentioned Tuesday's game, quick turnaround with a disappointing defeat today. Um, a game on Tuesday gives everyone the opportunity to bounce back in some style away at top of the league. Uh, I believe they're still unbeaten at home. So tough task, but how do you, as a player, regroup and, and get ready for that? Um, I think we start regrouping from now, from the full-time whistle. As a group, we've got, to, we've got to take the loss, which is a bit of a downer. But I think we've got a long journey back to think about it as a group and as individuals. We've got, obviously, tomorrow and, and Monday as well. We're not going to be training Monday, but I think we just got to stick together and obviously going into the Needham game. It is against the top of the league, but we are still in contention with eight games to go. And I think, personally, that we've just got to carry on what we're doing. I know we've had two losses, but I think we've just got to take the positives out of the game. And going into the Needham game, I think we've just got to execute what we what we all spoke on and what we're going to speak about as well and execute the plan and hopefully get three points up there as well.